I bought it from an ad on Craigslist. Uh, it had no pictures and one sentence. It said, 1983 Dodge van, AC blows cold, great van, 40 something thousand miles. It was like uh, 2,200 bucks. Transmission went bad after the first week. <laughs> I did the interior build myself. It's all, you know, retro, late 50s, early 60s, tiki and uh, mid-century modern, atomic. I have an eight track player up there, uh, CB, kind of custom wood grant steering wheel. I got it uh, to carry equipment. And then I, I discovered the kind of van culture of the 70s. Break a one nine, come on. I met some guys from a club called Wheels of Confusion, which is an older van club from the 70s. I was uh, rolling with them for a little bit. I met some other guys from up in LA. We got our own chapter, Wheels of Confusion, and then after about a year, we broke off and did our own club, which is California Street Vans. Bought a lot of old, like, trucking magazines and stuff. They're really cool to read, to get the ideas for your van. And, they always covered all these massive van events, 2,000, 3,000 vans. And it's just a big party. You know, they'd have a band, they'd have lots of drinking, wet t-shirt contest. It's never gonna be what it was, but it's cool to see people buying these, these vans, because now it's find the survivor van and save it. A friend of mine said, oh, the cheapest thing about these vans is buying the van. <laughs> And that's true. Uh, I probably put probably close to $10,000 in it between paint and buying new seats and reupholstering the seats and building all this stuff. I just think they're cool. You can sleep in them. You can haul stuff in them, you know, go camping. You know, it's, it's a little living room on wheels pretty much, so.